morning, ESM. This weekend, we ranked popular fast food chains to see which ones had the best breakfast and which ones had the best deals. Before we get into this, let's see our top stories from this weekend with Lib. Wegmans recalls several pre-cut fruits due to possible exposure of the par parasite Listeria. Listeria can cause fatal symptoms such as flu-like symptoms, abdominal pain, and it can also cause miscarriages in pregnant women. To keep you safe, Wegmans have, has temporarily recalled all types of melons and pineapple. If you have any affected products, you can return them to your local Wegmans. Call with questions at 1-885-934-3663. A dishwasher shot at a man several times at the Syracuse Sky Armory Saturday night in an attempt to kill him. Damian Tatum, 28, of Syracuse, became agitated while preparing for Syracuse's native Jamal Newsom's Mastermind Gala Round 2, said Lieutenant Matthew Malin Malinowski, a spokesperson for the Syracuse police. He was upset about a man coming to the gala he held at the event venue in Armory Square. At 6.41 p.m., an hour before before more than 300 people were said to arrive, Tatum shot at the man several times with a semi-automatic handgun. The identity of the man shot at was not released. No guests were injured other than one who tripped and hurt his leg. Tatum was charged with second-degree attempted murder, second-degree criminal possession of a weapon, and third-degree criminal possession of a weapon. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This Thursday, March 24th, marks one whole month since the invasion of Ukraine. Please show solidarity to the people of the Ukraine by wearing blue and yellow on this day. The colors of the flag represent the blue sky and the golden wheat fields in Ukraine. Please, A, wear blue and yellow as they define their freedom. On Saturday, ESM Indoor Percussion took first place out of seven and scored 77.875 at the home show. Next week, they look to go to Victor before championships on Sunday, April 3rd. What's up, ESM? It's your favorite anchor pair here, and we're at Chick-fil-A. Today's show, we're going to different fast food places and trying Let's different... We're trying different fast food breakfasts. First up, we have Chick-fil-A, then we're going to McDonald's. We're giving you the nutrition information and the prices. I'll give that a nine out of ten. Mm -hmm. A little buttery. A little Better country. than McDonald's. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Here you go, Alina. Okay, okay. So Here we're going to dip it in the Chick-fil-A sauce, sauce, as recommended. Mm -hmm. This is a 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. The biscuits are great. That's the best thing I've ever had. And another good morning to you, ESM. We're at the McDonald's drive through in Fayetteville, and we're going to get the classic favorite Egg McMuffin. Mm -hmm. we'll, uh, we'll give you an update in a minute. No! Yes, yes. I will. And can I have a um a egg McMuffin, McMuffin. please? Anything else? And then a Thanks you too. Okay, taste test. How is it? Be honest. Don't lie. How is it? Mm. Like a five out of ten. Okay. Something wrong with the egg. Again and again, I find myself repeating myself because yet again, there's going to be clear skies. So there's going to be no rain today. But that doesn't mean there won't be rain later in the week. It's Wednesday through Friday, we will get some rain. But as of today, on Monday, we will have a high of 50 and a low of 30, with tomorrow having a high of 46 and a low of 30 being very similar today, practically the same day. And with that, I'm Grayson with your weather.
All right, it's time to find out what chain had the healthiest breakfast. Okay, so we got some pictures coming up. So we're going to start off with Chick-fil-A, okay. sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit, 630 calories. I thought that's a lot for a biscuit. Yeah, but it's also, well, it's, yeah. I don't know, that was food. a lot. Number two, we have, still from Chick-fil-A, chicken minis. These were 370 calories for four. That's pretty healthy for a biscuit. Well, yeah, they're, they're also those, like amazing, so I don't good. care about yeah. Yeah, those are good. And next up, we have McDonald's, the classic egg white McMuffin. 250 calories, that's healthy. Yeah. It wasn't good, it didn't taste the best. But at I least thought. it's 250, I, I, I'm surprised with that number. Mm-hmm. Yep, and then we got, this is what we have here from Duncan, wake up wraps, 180 calories, I think. You can't go wrong with a wake up wrap, that's good. Yeah. And then for the prices, Chick-fil-A was the most expensive, second expensive, and McDonald's was the cheapest but I feel like you get what you pay for with McDonald's. That's, yeah. So uh, we're gonna pause on this and head over to sports. On Friday, a team of ESM powerlifters competed at Baldwinsville High School. The Spartans came in second place in team competition. In the individual portion of the competition, Kevin Hasty was named the strongest pound for pound 12th grader. Kevin's highlight was deadlifting 530 pounds. Greg Cavalier won the strongest 9th grade award, and Akasha Nunley won the award for strongest female lifter. Great job to all who competed. At the USA Track and Field Youth Championships, Mike Parks dominated winning the 55 hurdles with a time of 7.85 seconds. He also won the high jump and placed second in the long jump. The men has continued last night as Miami and Iowa State are headed to the Sweet 16 after Miami upset second ranked Auburn and Iowa State upset third ranked Wisconsin. And number one ranked Arizona just escaped ninth ranked TCU, beating them in oh, beating them in overtime, 85 to 80. And I'm Tanner with Sports. All right, so we hope you learned a lot about our uh, fast food experience here. So, just to be the dad out there, all right, an egg's about 10 cents, English muffins about 40 cents, cheese about 20 cents. So to make it yourself would cost you 80 cents. If you want to save some money, make it yourself. I think that's a good, don't you think that's a good thing? Save it's money. It's a good deal, but good it's always nice to go out for breakfast. Mm-hmm. Yep, and we enjoyed ourselves. We hope you enjoyed the good deals, nutrition information, found out what you want. So uh, for me and Josh, everyone here at the morning show, have a great Monday.